Regardless of the type of overhead irrigation system used at your nursery, problems with irrigation efficiency can arise. Reasons will include errors in design, clogged nozzles or sprinkler heads, and general wearing down of the equipment. These problems result in uneven irrigation, which will in turn affect the application of fertilizer. This video demonstrates a simple technique referred to as the cup test. This allows you to check for areas where irrigation is not being applied uniformly. This should be employed at the very least once a month. Begin by selecting a crop watering zone or greenhouse. Next, arrange equal sized cups in an evenly spaced grid throughout your crop. Different arrangements can be used to measure different types of irrigation systems. Be sure that cups are spaced equally beneath or beside sources of water. This will ensure that your measurements are accurate and comparable between cups. Also, the more cups you lay out, the greater the accuracy of your measurements. Areas prone to variance in irrigation are edges, sidewalls, walking paths, and sections where streams of water from different irrigation nozzles will overlap. Then, draw up a simple schematic map, like the one you see here, which describes the location of cups in relation to the irrigation nozzles or sprinklers. Once the cups are in place and you have your map, turn on the irrigation system. Irrigate that section for 10 minutes, then turn the system off. Do not run this test between different irrigation zones, and do not use different lengths of irrigation time as a comparison. You will not get useful results. When the irrigation system is off, use a graduated cylinder like the one you see here to measure the amount of water that has collected in each cup. Put that number next to the location of that cup on your schematic map. Continue measuring the water that was collected by all the cups. Each cup will be an individual point of measure. When you are finished, compare the readings from across the irrigation area. Some variation in the results should be expected in small increments. However, where you see major differences, examine the irrigation nozzles, hoses, and other components until you find the source of the problem. You can save the schematic with your results and compare values over the growing season. But be sure to use the same cups and the same time period irrigating in order to get an accurate measure over time.